We continue from Lee near Manchester, our 55 mile four day journey to get to Middlewich before the lock closes there. We're officially New Canal Day, Fred. First time in a year. <laughs> so we've gone from the Leeds and Liverpool, that was the Leeds and Liverpool Lee branch, and we're now on the Bridgewater Canal. And uh, you have to have uh, permit to get on the Bridgewater Canal and do it online at the Canal and River Trust website and you get a week to be here and get off otherwise you have to apply for a full license for a period at a cost I suppose but we're going to get through it in about two days so here we go Don Alberto's Italian restaurant, friend. I've never got a mooring spot at home that's our friend Darren lives aboard Aurora with Jojo and he fitted the batteries for us on Constanza many years ago and what a nutcase he is great he did bloke. have a bottle of slow gin for us yeah. he's hidden it <laughs> <laughs> until next time Darren and Jojo those colours Blimey, glad that wasn't underneath the boat. Older. We've just been through a fabulous little town called Worsley 
and it was just the sort of place that we should stop or we would have loved to have stopped coffee shops old buildings old canal buildings but we just haven't got the time and it's so unlike us not to stop places and to rush through but even half a day now could cost us getting through Middlewich which would then mean we're not where we want to be for the whole of the winter so it's really sad to miss these lovely places but that's what it is and we're getting more and more busy now as we're heading the outskirts of Manchester and Salford um, but it's, it's nice to be cruising in town again, we're enjoying it. We've got jacket potatoes in the oven, chilli in the top oven. And Rich is having his lunch now and then we're going to swap back a bit while I'll have mine. And um, keep going. The presence of iron in the landscape has changed the canal to an ochre colour. And I think we've got some very interesting sights coming up in the next few miles. So, there's a swing bridge going over the Manchester Ship Canal and other delights. Well, we're getting ever closer to Manchester. The wind's picking up, so I think this is the edge of Storm Kieran hitting us. So hopefully we can avoid all that nonsense by the time we've moored up. I think Fran's already said it's a shame we couldn't get to look around Worsley, but we can't do everything. We are in a hurry, aren't we, Francis? We are, unfortunately. We hate yeah. it. The it's dogs are us. hating it. We're yeah. hating it. You know, the rest of our winter is at stake here, isn't it? <laughs> Christmas could be ruined. It could be, yeah. <laughs> oh, ship called Dignity. There's the lyrics on the side. One of my favourite songs by Deacon Blue. Dignity. Year one for the day. Oh, what a song. Here you go, a little Jenny Wren. Look at that boat, Frank. I know. Oh, that's the uh, remnants of Halloween. Witches knickers in the trees. Oh, look, our first Christmas decorations there's father christmas is in that window there what did you say fran it's oh the, no it's the first of november that's all second. second of november each to their own mind you what did we have to eat in october mince pies <laughs> yeah resist Apologies for the wind noise on this video. Storm Kieran's just proving far too strong for our fluffy cover on the microphone. Well, here we are heading for Barton Swing Aqueduct, which goes over the Manchester Ship Canal. And at the moment, that's all I know about it. So, cue voiceover, Rich. Replacing a traditional brick aqueduct Barton Swing Aqueduct was opened in 1894, which allowed larger vessels to pass under the Bridgewater Canal. Apparently, it is the first and only swing aqueduct in the world. That lovely pagoda there. How incongruous is that? A burnt out building. So, industrial heritage looking pretty grim.
I downloaded a speedometer to see what speed we're doing. So we're cruising at the moment at 1300 revs and it uh, seems like we're cruising about 6 kilometers an hour which is about 3 miles an hour, 3.5 miles an hour. Oh, that's the Kellogg's factory, I guess they're making cornflakes. Here we are at what is known as Waters Meeting. We're heading to the right. To the left it takes you into Manchester to the Rochdale Canal. Uh, where we were a few years ago in the middle of Manchester. Well worth a visit. You've never been. Don't be frightened. There's some lovely moorings in there. And it's totally safe. Well we found it to be anyway. So we're back on waters that we've cruise along before now so we're uh, heading off to a town called Lim. the M60 motorway, Manchester's orbital ring road, 30 miles of going nowhere motorway. Well, it's gotten pretty grim now, rain's lashing down, the wind's picked up. I think as soon as we find somewhere we're happy with, more pull in, more up for the night. This is Sale, the suburb of Manchester. Looks quite trendy. King's Ransom pub. Looks quite splendid. I think they need to move these canoes out of the way. Well, we decided to bang the pins in here. We've been going for five hours, and that's enough. We're in the town of Sale, and it looks quite lovely. So yeah, get inside, get warmed up. Might go and explore the town later on if we feel so inclined. Sale. You were lovely and quiet last night. Well, this is day three of our five day expedition. Sale was lovely. We only managed to have a quick walk around the town last night in the dark, did a bit of shopping, got some fish and chips, and uh, so we're off again this morning, the sunshine's gone in, it's dropped a few degrees, it's pretty cold. But uh, 10 miles to do, till we get to Lim. Yeah, it's a real pity we didn't get to stay longer, we'd have popped on that tram and gone into Manchester for the day. Never mind, plenty of stuff to do wherever we go. Fran's walking the dog. Archie, my dog's decided to stay on board, she doesn't want to go for a walk. And Fran's collecting kindling as she goes along. Naughty dog. Well, we didn't get very far. There's a cafe boat there, so Fran stopped and we're having cake and hot chocolate. Mm. So we've only been cruising for about 10 minutes. The skies are looking grey and we've passed Cafe Boat. So I've just ordered two OT hot chocolates and two cakes. Rich is just waiting for me there just to see us on our journey. There's nothing more tedious than a long day's cruising in the cold. It's long straight stretches of canal cruising in the cold. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. That's a shame that that's not redeveloped, isn't it? Oh, beautiful building. Still, they've stuck an ocean liner shaped block of flats up. One thing about going through towns is you can have a good nose in their gardens and houses when they're all at work. Lots of glass in these ones. Look at the size of those glass panels up there. You didn't know I was a voyeur, did you? Look at those seats, they look about the most uncomfortable things you could ever wish to sit on. They look like composting targets. Archie's default position and Jess is just going to come up now won't go far from daddy on the back of the boat and they won't relax when we're cruising they stay awake all day long so I've cooked some or I've prepared some apples and fruit I'm going to make apple crumble that's going in the top of the fire in the top oven so we can have apple crumble tonight I've also got in my Mr D's cooker some um, mince cooking for shepherd's pie and I've never done this before but I'm going to put the potatoes on top so the mince is going in the slow cooker the potatoes are going on the top and then that can just be left until tonight and hopefully it will just be a case of stacking the shepherd's pie up and popping it in the top oven to cook so that's taken about 10 minutes of gas just to cook these two and get the potatoes boiling so hopefully that will be dinner sorted out but then as we go through the boat you can see it's chaos everything is charging we've got laptops charging cameras charging my coat's all ready to go back out again um, the bike has to come in because we don't have any room on the back deck safely to cruise so the bike has to come in but the fire's burning nicely i've just lit that and um, the apple crumble will go in the top oven there. So that's gonna cook dessert. Mr. D's slow cooker is cooking the main course. Um, kettle's ready for a cup of tea in a little while. And um, I might just sit and look out the window for five minutes before I go out and relieve Rich. It's my turn to drive for a bit now. Well, we've got about four miles to go to make it 15 miles today and uh, the rain has stopped for a while so we decided just to cruise the last four miles or so at an easy pace. While eating biscuits. While eating biscuits and drinking coffee. We're really enjoying the cruising actually, aren't we? Really enjoying it's, it, uh... yeah. But the trouble is it's sod's law, the weather's a bit hit and miss and it's a bit wet so there's no point both of us getting wet so we've been spending time downstairs, well you've spent most time downstairs haven't you, I've been cruising. 
But the oh. colour, autumn colours are glorious. When the sun does come out, it's really beautiful. It is wonderful, um, yeah. And we're going through places that we've not been through for four years. And yeah. it's funny seeing, you still remember, don't you, places that you moored up four yeah. years ago. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting. So nearly mooring up. I'll be glad to get inside, actually, because I'm a bit chilly now. I'll put my hat back on and uh, drink my coffee. Always a sad sight, sunken boat. This is a village called Grappenhall. Some very salubrious properties along here. Way out of our price range, Francis. Uh, and too many windows to clean. <laughs> Well, we've gone a bit further than we expected. We've done 13 miles in all today. Here we are at Higher Walton. We've put the pins in the ground, moored up. Uh, nice little spot, nice view from the window, a bit of a noisy road, but uh, that's not gonna bother us for one night. So let's see if we get to Middlewich in time. Join us next time. And if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.